Dijon FX828. It's a F-18 fighter jet looking, ready to fly. So let's open this box up. I'm not sure if it requires any assembly, but judging by how thin the box is, I'm assuming that you're gonna have to put some stuff together. So let's get this box opened up. So here it is. Here we got an instruction manual. Here we have the 2.4 gigahertz controller that requires three AA batteries. And then yes, the plane is in a few pieces here. Most of it's put together. It looks like we just have to put these two tail fins together. So it has these plastic clips here and it is on an angle. This angles out. So this is the left side and then do the same for the other side. And then you'll find in this bag here, your USB charger, a couple spare propellers, and then your landing gear. And you're all set up now. So that's it. So very little assembly. Literally it'll take about a minute to put together. But that is everything you'll find in the box. In here you'll find the 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp hour LiPo battery. So we gotta get that charged up, get some batteries in the controller, and then we're ready to fly. We have the FX828 all charged up, ready to fly, and we are gonna bind it with the controller. So we'll turn that on, turn that on, and okay, up down the bind, and we are ready to fly. Let's put this on the runway here. Now it is a pretty it's a pretty still morning, no wind at all, so I can't blame anything on the wind. So let's take off. Let's see, hopefully this could do a ground takeoff. If not, we're gonna have to do a hand takeoff. But this controller is as basic as it gets. You have your throttle and then you're turning. So that's it. There's no trim, nothing. Throttle and turning. So let's see if we can get this thing up in the air. Here we go. Oh, and oh, <laughs> it like, Go straight up then. Seems a little tail heavy, but it's flying pretty good. So let's let's check the steering out. So if you throttle it all the way up and turn, that is as tight as you can turn. That's to the right. Let's turn to the left. And pretty much the same. Oh, it's dropping. It's dropping. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. Looks like I'm in a stall there. Let's bring it back down here. So I completely left off the throttle. And that, it's, it's turning by itself because I am not turning that. So maybe I might have to bend something on the plane. Might need a tweak, one of the wings or, or the tail, something in the tail. But yeah, right turns right turns it turns pretty good but then left turns oh <laughs> what see that there it's coming down so i gotta straighten out and try and save it let's get it over here get it pretty close here because i like getting some nice close-up shots of it
So this is just two channel, so it does raise altitude by giving it a little more throttle. And then obviously to come back down, you just let off the throttle and it'll come back down. But it doesn't fly too bad. I thought with it being this small, it, it would really do a lot of those fugoids but it it doesn't it it flies pretty pretty straight it does do the fugoids a little bit but that can all be controlled with proper throttle management and i am learning these planes a little bit more so they are getting easier to control Getting a little close to them trees. I don't need to do a SpongeBob cutscene where it says like five minutes later and I'm picking a plane out of the tree. We'll come over here in the middle more. Yeah, I'm I'm actually impressed with this because this plane is not all that expensive. It's right around $30. but it it flies pretty good for for the size for the price <laughs> I was uh I was trying to get a flyby there sorry goose but it's time to buzz the tower but I do love the colors of this it looks like one of those Blue Angel Jets. I am going to try and land this thing. I have yet to do a proper runway landing. Uh oh. <laughs> I nearly was going to be cutting into that five minutes later spongebob scene okay let's let's level it out i might have to take another pass around here i'm in a i'm in a hold pattern come on i can do it you can do it i can do it uh oh come on oh that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> blew the battery out right out of the bottom of the holder I'm gonna get a landing one of these days. These little two channels are they're really hard to, well, hard for me anyway, to bring them in and level them out and just come in for a landing. So now we'll just do a hand launch. Okay, coming in, coming in, coming in. Oh, <laughs> I was so close. It just hovered over the ground and then flew off the runway here. Let's see if I could get a, a decent montage going here. So let's cut into the montage. That is it, right there. I ran out of battery. Actually, the battery died a lot faster than I thought it would, but I still had at least 15 minutes of flight out of this. So 
it did fly for a decent amount of time but i am pretty impressed with how basic it is but how well it flew and i love the design so i am going to put this in for the october giveaway so if you like this plane and you want this plane to be the october giveaway then go ahead and smack the like button because the most liked rc at the end of the month is going to be the giveaway for october i have a couple other videos of other rcs so check them out and maybe one of those is going to be your favorite so go ahead and put a like on those if you like them but if you want to enter for this plane if this plane is the most liked rc at the end of the month and you want to have an entry in for this plane then go ahead and comment down below because your comment is your entry and all you have to do is be a subscriber from the us like i said your comment is your entry for this plane so if you want to enter for the other rcs then go ahead and put a comment on one of those because i'm only pulling comments from the most liked rc for october and then on november 1st i'm going to be doing a live drawing where i announce which rc was the most liked one for october and who wins it but that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe but i hope to see you with the next ready to run rc